Let's play craps. Five years ago, I had no clue how to play this game. I went on YouTube and there was no video that had someone playing this game with a board like you see in front of you and actually rolling the dice to play the game. So I created videos and thought nothing of it for five years besides the emails I received about it every day with questions and comments and occasionally I would get online and I would answer those questions and comments. But finally, I'm at a point now where I can create more videos in a new series to better explain the game of craps, why you should play it, and why it's one of the most fun games of the casino. If you've been in a casino, you already know the craps table is the loudest place there. If you don't play the game, I can almost guarantee that you've went by the casino just to watch and see how are people winning money. Why are they screaming? And you sat there and you looked at this table, which can be confusing, and you said, how do you play the game? I promise you, if you watch this series, you will understand the terminology that comes with the game, and you will understand how to place a bet in the game, and you will understand different strategies that you can use to either play the game for a long, extended amount of time, or some strategies to really win some money as long as the dice fall the way you want them to. We all know how that is. You can have a great strategy, but if the dice don't fall the way you want, it's not gonna matter, okay? So let's start this video, video one, with an introduction to the game of craps. When you walk up to the game of craps, you're going to see a table much larger than this table, okay? But you're going to see the same material in the table and the fact that there are two mirrored sides that look exactly like each other, okay? Here's how simple, simply put it is. There's a stick man who controls the dice, okay? He gets them to the shooter, I throw them down there, he gets them, he gives them back to me. And then there's gonna be a person standing in my spot where I am now, and they're gonna stand someone else right there, and they're gonna be the dealers placing your bets and hopefully paying you. And then sometimes right where that camera is, there will be a pit boss who oversees the entire operation, make sure that the rules are being followed, et cetera. They have the hand of disputes and things like that, okay? So there's two mirrored sides. If you were on this side of the table, along this wall or the end, and there's usually one spot kind of where I'm tucked in and to the corner, you're going to place your bets on this side of the table. And if you're on that side of the table, you're gonna place your bets over there, okay? We share some common ground here in the middle with some of our, um, our one roll bets and our hard ways. We're gonna share that, okay? But here is what the game comes down to. No matter where you're at on the table, you are betting on the one shooter. It doesn't matter if they're at the if they're at the other end of the table and you're over there. We're all betting on the same shooter with every roll of the dice. That person may win, that person may not win anything, and that person might lose. Okay? There are so many different bets as you can see, and we're going to teach you all about it. Okay? Here's what you need to know. Walk up to the table, you're gonna lay your money down. It's up to you how much you lay down, okay? Lay your money down, you're gonna get chips. I have $220 before me, okay? And you need to look at the table minimum. There will be a placard, usually somewhere here or there, or it may be tucked on the inside for others to see, okay? That will show you what the minimum bet is. If you're lucky, it's $5, okay? There's still casinos that have still have $5 tables, or it could be 10, 20, and it will have a maximum bet, okay? So walk up to the table, buy in, look at your minimum bet, okay? Not saying you have to play that, but it's good information to know, okay? Now you're playing craps. Let's tell you about the pass line really quick, and we're gonna get into it in our second video. The most popular bet in the entire game of craps out of everything you can do is to play this pass line bet, okay? The pass line bet is important when you're the shooter because you have to make a decision if you want to shoot. You have to play the pass line bet 
or the don't pass bet, okay? When it's your turn and you have $5 or whatever you want, on the uh, pass line or the don't pass line, the stick man will give you five dice, okay? I've got two just to uh, be simple tonight, but he'll give you five dice. You pick two, he'll rake the three next to him, and you're gonna throw your dice always the opposite way, okay? The longer direction. You will see in a lot of my videos, I'll toss them there just for convenience and for time, okay? But if it is your turn, okay, you're gonna grab these dice and you're not gonna toss them to the short end. You always toss them to the long end, okay? And the dealer on that end will call out the number. They will pay anyone who's won. The stick man will get your dice. He will bring them in the center while they pay and while people bet because you can bet after each roll. Then he will give you the dice and you will roll again, hopefully, okay? That's the way the game works. There are two ways that you can upset the people around you. Number one way to upset uh, people around you is that stick man just pushed me the dice and I've got the dice and I'm ready to roll. But that man right over there has his hands over the table. And when I throw those dice down there, they hit his hands and all of a sudden, it seems like it happens every time it lands on a seven. Almost every time, I don't know why. And so it's seven out, seven out, everyone loses their money except for maybe those who are on the don't pass line or the don't come maybe. That will make the table upset at you. Man, what were you doing? You will hear it all the time, okay? So that's just table etiquette. Always keep your hands high. Always keep your hands high. When you place a bet, if you want to place a bet on the nine, a place bet, you can toss your money here and say a nine, place a bet on the nine, and the dealer moves the bet for you. You don't actually take your chip and put it on the nine, okay? Toss it out there. That's a hard six, hard six. They will place it for you. You just toss. You toss your bet. Call out what you want. The dealer will do the work. You keep your hands high, okay? The number two reason, and not all people are upset uh, or picky about this, but I see a lot that are, is when you're on the table, okay, whether you're playing or you're not playing, do not say the number seven. For a lot of people playing at the table, if they have a pass line bet and this point is on, any of those numbers, if the shooter rolls a seven, okay, and some people think you can speak it into existence, okay, if the shooter rolls a seven, then all these people playing the pass line and these place bets, it could be a come bet, you'd win on a come bet, but it could be several other bets, hard, bet, hard ways, you lose your money, okay? So don't say the number seven, and that will help you out as well. That's it. There's lesson one right there of how to play craps. Please like and please subscribe. That is why I came back five years later. I've got 8,000 plus subscribers, I think. People want to learn how to play this game and they want to see it in action. So like and subscribe. Let's go to part two. Let's play the pass line. Let's roll the dice. Here we go.